It's the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday evening, the 14th of January. I'm James Spann, getting set for a shot of cold air tomorrow, another shot of cold air Friday, and maybe a snowflake or two around here tomorrow, but that probably won't amount to much. Let's go in there and take a look out the window. What a beautiful day today. Goodness, sunshine and full supply. That's the Birmingham Sky Cam. Work our way down to the south. That's the Demopolis Sky Cam overlooking the mighty Tom Bigby River in North Marengo County. A tree line on the other side of the river, that's over in Sumter County. And, of course, all that water flows down here. That's our sky cam at the Dauphin Island Sea Lab overlooking the Gulf of Mexico at the southern tip of Mobile County on a cloudless January afternoon. However, a cold trough forming over the uh, eastern U.S. You can kind of pick out that cold front uh, running uh, from near St. Louis down to about... Uh, uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas, and that's going to come in here late tonight and drop temperatures considerably tomorrow. But man, it feels good today. Look at Montgomery sitting at 63. Low 60s for Tuscaloosa and Alex City, mostly upper 50s elsewhere. But around the nation, it's very cold up north. Again, uh, teens and 20s for the upper Midwest, and we're going to have a hard time getting past the 40-degree uh, mark tomorrow terms of the watches and mornings, we note, if you look very carefully, the Weather Service in Atlanta has issued a winter weather advisory for some of their northern counties uh, of North Georgia, no north of Atlanta. And the Weather Service in Nashville has some of the counties on the Cumberland Plateau under a winter weather advisory for the chance of a little light accumulation of snow uh, late tonight, tomorrow morning, but no uh, advisories here. We don't expect any. This is the rain for the next five days. Not much at all. This is valid through the weekend through Sunday evening, showing barely enough to measure. And the latest guidance on the snow coming in a little drier. This is the chance of greater than one inch of snow. And the numbers ramp up considerably over the Great Smoky Mountains and points northeast uh, up into West Virginia. But again, down here, odds of significant accumulation will be pretty small. Let's take a look at the GFS the global forecast system, this is the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow. Nice trough coming in from the west down below that. Man, the thickness values are plunging. The 540 line down in the Gulf with a steady north breeze. Now, this air is not coming from the same source region as the air we had last week, so it's not going to be as cold, but still, the high will be only at or just over 40, and the wind is going to make it feel colder. What about the snowflake possibility? Well, let's take a look. This is the high-resolution NAM, the 4-kilometer NAM valid at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. And where you see all the gray there, that uh, would be light snow activity, snow flurries, maybe a convective snow shower. That's what you'll have to watch. Those things might make the ground white in a few spots, but uh, don't expect a lot. And this is 6 o'clock tomorrow evening. Even that late in the day, the uh, NAM showing some evidence of snow flurries or snow showers, but you can see the uh, snow cover tomorrow at noon, basically nothing around here, and I think that's right. I just don't think uh, uh, most locations see any kind of accumulation. The better chance of getting a little bit will be up across the high terrain of northeast Alabama, especially above 1,000 feet. And there's the modeling uh, coming off the buff kit. This is buff kit analysis. You can see tries to bring a little bit in here. But again, for now, we just don't expect any big accumulation issues. The only thing to watch for will be those little heavier spotty snow showers that can uh, give you a little brief burst of heavier snow, maybe making the ground white with the dusting. But even tomorrow morning, it looks like we'll be in the middle 30s. So travel problems not expected should be a normal day, but a cold day. This is Thursday. We start the day down in the low 20s. High Thursday afternoon, uh, mid to upper 40s. And Friday, the trough sharpens up again. And down below that, another shot of cold air. Uh, we will have a very hard time getting out of the 30s on Friday with a biting north wind. And the air pretty dry. There might be a few flurries maybe uh, Friday morning, but nothing beyond that. Saturday starting off the weekend, going to be cold. Again, we're expecting lows between 17 and 23. Saturday morning, the high Saturday afternoon should be around, uh, I'd say, maybe 50-ish. And this is Sunday, again, bright and sunny with low to mid-50s. So a bright, sunny weekend, but a rather chilly weekend with those cold mornings. Here's Monday of next week. We should warm up into the upper 50s as the thickness value is coming up. And this is a week from today. You can see another clipper coming down the pike to the northwest of here and down below that. Uh, moisture increases, and I guess there might be a shower somewhere Tuesday. For now, it doesn't like look much of a big deal. 
And then a couple of days later, this is Thursday of next week, January 23rd, another shot of cold air settles in here. What there later in the month? How about January 27th? That looks uh, close to some winter weather mischief. Big old 1043 high over Kansas. Very cold air over North Alabama. Some overrunning over the southern part of the state. And then the end of the forecast, uh, close to the end of the month, January 30th. Flow is somewhat zonal, and that suggests uh, cool and showery, if that's right. And again, I think the key word for the rest of this month will be changeable with these cold shots coming in from time to time, but it looks like they're not going to last too long. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.